In this tutorial, we'll be creating a parametric hinge mechanism cube. We will begin by setting our user parameters. Select user parameter and name your first parameter box size with an expression of 30 millimeters. Name your second parameter toll for tolerance and give it an expression of 0.3 millimeters. Now we can create a new sketch on one of the origin planes. Select the center point rectangle and create a rectangle from the origin point. Press D for dimension tool and dimension the height and width as box size. Finish the sketch and select the extrude tool to extrude the sketch by box size over 2. Change the extrude direction to symmetric and then press OK. Select all the faces of the cube and use the chamfer tool to chamfer the edges by box size over 10. Create a new sketch on an origin plane and draw a center point rectangle from the origin point. Press P for the project tool and highlight this edge to create a reference line. Dimension the height of the rectangle as tolerance. Drag out the rectangle and select one corner. Then hold shift and select the reference line. Finally, with both points selected, use the coincidence constraint to constrain them. Finish the sketch and extrude the rectangle out by box size symmetrically. Draw a new sketch on this origin plane and use the project tool to project the outline of the cube. Now draw a rectangle and use the coincident constraint to constrain it. To fully constrain the sketch, dimension the height as box size over 5. Use the line tool to draw a line through the centre of the rectangle, horizontally and vertically. Now draw a perpendicular line. and dimension it from the edge by box size over 3 minus tolerance. Mirror this line to the other side using the mirror tool. This line is drawn so we can reference its midpoint. Make sure all these lines are parallel and dimension them by tolerance. Again, create a line to reference its midpoint. Dimension this at 45 degrees
then draw a corresponding parallel line below it. Use the parallel constraint and then dimension it using your tolerance parameter. Mirror these lines and then finish your sketch. Use the Revolve tool and select the shape shown. Selecting the rotation axis will show us the revolve. Once happy, change the operation to new body and select OK. As you can see, we've now created our print in place hinge components. Create a new sketch on this origin plane and use the project tool to create a circle. Offset the circle by plus toll on one side and minus toll on the other. Now select the smallest of the circles and extrude it symmetrically by box size through the top and bottom of the box. Open your sketch back up and extrude the largest circle symmetrically by box size over 6 plus tolerant. We only want to cut away from the bottom box with this extrude. Using the combine tool, select the large hinge component and the bottom box to combine them. Do the same with the small hinge component and the top box. Select the edge of the hinge and create a new sketch. Use the project tool to copy the large circle from the previous sketch. Then extrude it by box size. We need a copy of this extrude on the other side, so using the mirror tool, select the extrude feature. Use the origin plane as your mirror plane and then press OK. Select this sketch from earlier and use it to cut away the protruding corners of the hinge. Extrude the shape by box size symmetrically to cut away the protrusion. We can now check if our parametric features work correctly by changing their size. If changing the size 
breaks anything in your timeline, go back and fix it, making sure all your dimensions reference your user parameters correctly.